Cats who have feline infectious peritonitis should not be supplemented with L-lysine. In this video for veterinary students and veterinary surgeon graduates, I will explain why this is counterproductive and even dangerous. The key message of this video is to never prescribe an L-lysine supplement to a sick cat because it is antagonistic to arginine, which is an essential amino acid in the cat. In 2005, Hannah Dewarchin and colleagues published an amazing paper where she took monocytes from cat blood and grew them in the laboratory. Monocytes are the precursor cells which become macrophages. As you know, monocytes and macrophages are the key cells in which feline coronavirus replicates in cats with feline infectious peritonitis. Dr. Dewarchin infected the cells with various strains of feline coronavirus, and surprisingly, it was the health of the monocyte, rather than the virulence of the strain of feline coronavirus, which determined whether viral replication was high or low. I'll just repeat that because it is important. It was the health of the monocyte, rather than the virulence of the strain of feline coronavirus, which determined whether viral replication was high or low. Obviously, viral replication has to be high for FIP to develop. Here we have a monocyte or macrophage cell and a little coronavirus who fancies its chances with it. The one good thing that has come out of the last three years of the pandemic is that I no longer have to tell you what a coronavirus looks like. You are all too familiar with the spiky little pests. The virus gets into the cell. Oh no, is the cat going to die of FIP? Ah, here comes nitric oxide, NO, which says NO, no, to the virus and zaps it. Hurrah! You understand this has all been simplified quite a lot. So I asked myself, where did the nitric oxide come from? Answer, it came from arginine, thanks to the enzyme inducible nitric oxide synthase. So then I wondered, well, where did the arginine come from? Answer, in cats it comes from meat. Humans can make it for ourselves, because we're omnivores, but cats are obligate carnivores. They evolved to be predators. I'd like to read to you excerpts from a paper by Rath et al. Key aspects of macrophage biology are fundamentally driven by the phenotype of macrophage arginine metabolism that is prevalent in an evolving or ongoing immune response. M1 macrophages express the enzyme nitric oxide synthase, which metabolizes arginine to nitric oxide, NO, and citrulline. M1 macrophages are the first responders to an infection. They are pro-inflammatory. M2 macrophages are characterized by expression of the enzyme arginase, which hydrolyzes arginine to ornithine and urea. The arginase pathway limits arginine availability for NO synthesis. And from Navarro et al. 2015, arginase 2 competes with inducible nitric oxide synthase INOS enzyme, for its substrate, and the balance between these two enzymes plays a crucial role in regulating immune responses and macrophage activation. M2 macrophages direct the clearing up of the inflammation. In FIP, the immune response gets stuck in the M1 pro-inflammatory phase and doesn't resolve to M2. This slide shows the three enzymes which are competing for any available L-arginine which is an essential amino acid and which the cat has to get from food. On the upper left we have the M1 macrophage, on the lower left we have the M2 macrophage and on the right we have the urea cycle. The urea cycle takes priority over the immune system if L-arginine is limited because if the urea cycle cannot function, the cat can die within hours Please watch my video on the urea cycle to learn more about why L-arginine is an essential amino acid. If the immune system cannot function properly, then the cat does have a little longer, days or weeks, to survive. So you can appreciate if a cat is deficient in L-arginine, the body is going to use what it has in the urea cycle rather than for macrophage function. 
the enzyme inducible nitric oxide synthase has to compete with arginase 1 used in the urea cycle and arginase 2 which is essential for the M2 macrophage. Are cats who develop FIP deficient in arginine? I don't know. Nobody has ever done the study so far as I am aware. What I do know is that arginine is antagonized by L-lysine and that is why it is unwise to supplement cats with L-lysine and that is why I advise my clients to stop using L-lysine in their cats. This is a graph from a paper published by the top feline herpes virus expert in the world, Dr. Mags, in the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery in 2007. The graph shows plasma arginine levels in cats fed a cereal-based diet, the line with the black squares, and cats fed the same basal diet but supplemented with 51 grams of lysine per kilogram of food. That's the line shown with the white squares. The cat's plasma arginine was followed for over 50 days and you can see how it fell during that time and you now know why that would have adversely affected their immune systems. Clinically, the cats on the lysine supplemented food had worse cat flu than those on the basal diet. In other words, worsening clinical signs correlated with decreasing plasma arginine levels. The key practical message of this video is to never supplement a cat with L-lysine. If you found this video interesting, you might like my video about the urea cycle of cats. You might also like to read the paper by Ball and Bonnock. Thank you for watching this video, and huge thanks to all the good people who fund my work and make videos like this possible. God bless you and your cats. This is Diane Addy, praying for an end to all animal suffering. Goodbye.